Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, okay? I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your family. Stay blessed and in the purest of white light. I've been getting a message about someone trying to switch destiny with us. Absolutely not. It will not be happening. For some of you, this is a masculine energy that is absolutely envious of you. And for some of you, this is a feminine energy that is absolutely envious of you. This is someone in a one-sided competition that just is not going anywhere. This is like someone competing to be a better version of you. But in the competition, you are not participating. You may not even be aware of the competition. Because, honey, when it comes to being you, there is no competition. You are the competition for you and yourself. Okay? Someone is not having a good day. Is that someone took action to interfere with your work, trying to block your work? Someone knows how committed you are, right? You are someone loyal, committed, forward thinking, right? You're brave, courageous. Anyways, someone thought that they could come in and cause you some type of heartbreak, but absolutely not. You are standing your ground. Someone didn't expect you to have this much energy. Someone thought it was going to be a one, 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 but then they were met with this energy. They don't know what to do with themselves. Right now, it's a desperate attempt to get a reaction out of you, but you're not giving anything. There is nothing to give. You have your back turned to this person. This is supposed to be an empress, but they don't reside in that empress energy because empresses do not compete with other empresses or anyone else for that matter. Okay? That is low vibrational energy. Someone is now in distress because they took some type of drastic action, accepting or hoping or thinking that they were going to get some type of results, but they did not. They were supposed to be practical, but this is not someone that's practical. This is someone that's impulsive, egotistical, okay? Yeah, someone was supposed to go within and see things from a higher perspective, but they refused. Someone was advised not to do what they were doing or what they intended to do before they took action against you now they are in heartbreak because they didn't get the results that they wanted and it was divinely guided to be that way someone is in remorse because you are who you say you are it's like someone is committed to just proving that they are better than you honey oh lord <laughs> Someone has lost a lot. Someone has lost a lot. Someone has lost their security. Someone has lost their foundation. Someone is being exposed. Their insecurities, everything. What this person is, is being exposed. Someone was guided to go within to prevent this from happening. But someone has a particular kind of hate for you. And it's particular because this person wants to be you, but wants to eliminate you at the same time. Make it make sense. It will not, but you can try to make sense out of it. This is someone greedy, vain. If there's, I hear something about a masculine, so this could possibly have something to do with a competition over a masculine. Most of you don't even know this masculine. You've never talked to this masculine, never seen him before. Not a day in your life. And some of you, this masculine is just someone that you see from time to time. If you're walking outside, going to work, going to school, minding your business, counting your crystals and staying in connection to the divine and your ancestors, thanking, thanking them for watching over you and protecting you from negative betties like these. Honey, it's embarrassing. It is absolutely embarrassing to pick a fight with someone and they don't even respond and you still lose. Make it make sense. It will not. Someone has lost a lot of finances because they refuse to go within. To go within. Someone thought you would be an easy pick. If you are on a social platform, oh Lord. <laughs> if you are on a social platform, someone has been trying to shut your platform down because you are absolutely marvelous at what you do someone is trying to prove to people that you don't know what you're doing you are not a true empress you're not gifted you're not a, a business savvy you're not something there's a narrative this person has been absolutely focused 
and set on passing and applying to you, but it's not sticking because it's not true. But you best believe someone is messing with other content creators platforms because they are intimidated by people that absolutely know what they are doing and what they are talking about. This is someone that does things for money. So if she has or he has a platform, he does that just for money. There is no love or inspiration to it. They don't care about what they're doing, but because it brings them money, they absolutely put in the time to do it. But when they see you, you love what you're doing. It's not about the money. It's about fulfillment and making a change in other people's lives, helping people heal things of that nature. It bothers this type of person because you reflect something that is not within them, right? You are genuine and this, they are disingenuine. The truth is absolutely being seen about you. You are someone who is a, a, a wise, intuitive, very much, very much a loyal person. You are standing your ground. You don't have time for the BS. And this person knows that. That is why they're not going to face you up front. They're going to do things from behind the scenes because that is what these types of people do. They will always throw rocks and hide their hands because they know the moment they come towards you, they've lost the battle. Someone is absolutely terrified of facing you face to face, man to man, woman to woman, because they know there is no chance of them defeating you, right? If the, if the battle is fair. This could be someone that had a lot of resources available to them. As you can see, we started out with the Eight of Pentacles. That means that this is someone that they have a lot of resources available to them, but they've lost quite a lot because this person was determined to take you down. This is their determination. They were going to come in and keep fooling around with your platform, keep fooling around with your work if you work a nine to five. And they were guided during the entire time to stop what they were doing, to see things from a higher perspective. Heed to the words of wisdom, but someone was greedy, someone was malicious, someone just didn't have enough sense to not do what they were doing. Someone thought they were in the upright, but absolutely not. They wanted to prove that they were better than you, they were more educated, things like that. Uh-uh. When a person has a calling on their life, it does not matter how much education they have or they do not have. Let's take me, let's take me for example, I am working on my master's in metaphysics, but I absolutely know I have a calling to do this. So even if I was not doing that, I would still be validated by the most high. People would still love what I do because I am genuine about what I do. There's a difference. There's a difference in you watching people do something and then you say, oh, I think I can do that. I'm going to go do that. But you don't have a calling to do that. So you will never feel fulfilled doing that because that's not your calling. We all have callings. We just have to find out what those callings are so that we can feel fulfilled in life. But the moment you start trying to destroy someone else because they are good at what they do, it's a problem. You are asking for attention from the universe that you absolutely do not want. And this person was told not to do that, but they didn't listen. And now they are in this energy. Okay. Someone is crazy. Someone is crazy. Someone is going from an eight of pentacles to this, a four of pentacles in the reverse. That means that this person is having to pinch pennies. Someone does not just, someone just now has like enough to pay the bills and that's it. They don't have anything for leisure time, recreational time, things like that, no more. Because someone misused your funds to take you down. This is like someone paying people behind the scenes to interfere with your forward movement. And just because I said social media does not mean it has to be social media. This could be a nine to five. This could be someone in your family. This could be someone that you are friends with, but you don't know they're doing things like this behind the scenes. This could be a coworker and things like that. But someone has absolutely been committed to destroying another person that has done nothing to them. And this is because of jealousy. Uh, this is because of greed. Someone, for some of you out there, someone has been stealing your content and repurposing it as theirs. And when I say repurpose, I use that word lightly because it may be like you make a one hour video and they go and add one word in there. And now they think that it's their video. Okay, that's what I mean by repurpose. Someone is about to be exposed for exactly who they are, the leech that they are, the gold digger that they are. 
the malicious, vindictive creature that they are. Okay, while you are standing, telling the truth, living in your truth, being someone that is of higher knowledge, you are working on acquiring higher knowledge, right? Or you're someone that possesses higher knowledge that other people do not have. Even this person that's competing with you does not possess the knowledge that you have about whatever field you are in. And some of you, some of you don't even realize you have knowledge that other people don't have. So you cannot utilize that if you don't know. So take time to figure out and learn how to utilize the things that you know, right? Let's get back into this reading. Someone wanted to pin you out into in this image, but you're showing up in this image and someone is seeing that truth. Someone has gone within. Whoever she has been trying to smear your character to is seeing the truth about you, okay? I'm also hearing that some of you may have been dealing with some type of financial stagnation or financial loss, but you stood your ground regardless. It's like someone knew you were in like, so they started taking actions against you to destroy you and interfere with your forward movement. And they assume because you were in some type of financial like that it will be easier for them to destroy you. But they're finding out you are a firecracker. You are feisty. You are a warrior. The, the page of swords are fighters naturally. They don't pick fights, but they will finish the fights. Absolutely. And this person is learning it the hard way that money does not mean strength. Okay. Someone is being humble. Someone's having to eat their humble pie. Absolutely. I'm telling you, humble pie. You, Someone is eating their humble pie. Someone thought they could come in and destroy you because they had access to more resources, but they were in, they were uh, 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 guided to be practical about a situation. They didn't want to. They thought you were like a... a, a just something that could flick off. Like, go away. No one wants to hear you. Go away. No one wants to see you. Go away. You are irrelevant. But Source said absolutely not. Okay? You have found the strength to keep moving forward. You are courageous. Is how people are seeing you. Even some of the people that partner up to destroy you are seeing just how strong you are. And they are amazed. You're healing people by staying committed to your path and staying loyal to yourself. Right? Doing the, the, doing the right thing. Standing up for yourself. Not letting anyone boss you around. Control you. Take advantage of you. You know, destroy you. You are absolutely encouraging other people to voice their opinion in their own lives. You're teaching people something that this person could never teach them because this is someone that's financially focused. But I guess people that are financially focused don't always know how to protect their wealth when they gain that. They spend foolishly and then end up losing their wealth just like this person has lost their wealth. But regardless of your financial situation, my darling, you are moving forward in life. You're staying calm, collect. And you are protected. You're secure. Okay. Someone wants to bring that lion, that beast within you out, but in the wrong way. And you're just like, honey, I don't have time for you or your shenanigans today. I have better things to do. Leave me alone. Right? Yes, honey. You, you have better things to do. You got business to figure, to focus on. You don't have time to be going back and forth with, with children absolutely ridiculous this is not like a teenager or someone in their early 20s i'm telling you you have better things to worry about not this madness okay not this madness it's like no matter what these people do you are still moving forward someone wanted to just end you like they want you living in poverty they want you living in poverty Honey, someone wants you living in poverty. But I want you to remember that nothing is permanent. Life comes in cycles. Okay? And these cycles are temporary. They're meant for lessons. So while you may be up today, tomorrow you could be down. And the person you were stepping on could be up. And you will have a hard lesson to learn. I'm telling you, a hard lesson to learn. Okay? a hard lesson to learn people don't think about that when they're taking actions against people that a lot of the times they don't even know but because of jealousy they'll do whatever 
Someone is about to learn a hard lesson. Absolutely. There could be someone going into poverty, a masculine energy, so causing a lot of illusions and things like that, but there's something going on with an emperor. Maybe he does not reside in his emperor energy. Yeah, I see that heartbreak after him. Maybe he participated in something he was not supposed to, or he did something he was not supposed to do. I'm telling you, learning a lesson, going through hard times. Someone is being sat down by the universe. This is someone that wanted to come towards you, possibly to give you some type of false offer. Someone has been working against you behind the scenes. Now that the truth is out, the truth is out, it's exposed. Someone now wants to come in, cause you some type of illusion, but they cannot. Someone is being left out in the cold because that's where they deserve to be left out in the cold. Okay, someone was supposed to advocate for you, but they did not do that. They instead partnered up with someone else or kept quiet about a situation, even though they knew the truth the entire time that you were going through something. And they, they have been humble. I'm telling you, they knew the truth. They knew the truth. Someone absolutely knew the truth, but they stayed quiet. They knew the truth about a collaboration. Something people were doing behind the scenes. They knew the truth about an information, some type of letter. But they stayed quiet because it benefited them. And now they're going through heartbreak because they cannot have a new beginning with you. Absolutely. They cannot have a new beginning with you. They're going to have to recover, but recover alone. Someone may be planning in here how to come towards you. Someone is healing from something. There's some type of mental illness someone is dealing. Someone was heavily manipulated as well. And they're healing from that because the truth again has been exposed to them. Someone did not understand how much manipulation they were under. And they thought they were doing the right thing by taking action against you. But they didn't realize they were just breaking their own heart missing out on an amazing opportunity to work with some of you so this is a lesson that they had to learn i'm telling you i'm telling you someone broke their own heart someone broke their own heart and they are unsure of how to move forward they're living in fear and remorse anxiety someone is sick Someone is sick. Someone is sleepless. Someone is tired. They're exhausted. Someone feels like they don't know how to move forward in life. They are even afraid to make a move. Okay? Someone feels... What I just heard is that someone feels embarrassed that they betrayed you for someone else, for a Jizzy Bell, a witch. Someone is embarrassed that they betrayed you and they betray you, but and, and, and while they were betraying you, they didn't even know the full truth. Someone lied to them about you. This is like someone taking action against you and they don't even know why they're taking action, actions against you, but that's because someone told them something about you and instead of them coming to you and asking you the truth, they just go along with it. Maybe whoever told them whatever it is they told them about you, they, they had other people corroborating their stories that, hey, if he asks you about this, tell them it's true. If he asks you about her, tell them that, yeah, she did do that. She did say that. Someone here was manipulating messages. Someone has been manipulating messages. Okay. Someone has been manipulating messages to present it to people or someone to make it look like it was either you that sent that message or that is how you sent that message and you did not. Someone has been communicating as you, but it's not really you. The truth is being exposed and people didn't know this. This is like someone hacking your email or something. I'm telling you, someone hacking your email and then corresponding to people, talking to people or emailing people as you. 
And because it's coming from your email address, people believe that it's actually you that's sending that email, but it's not you. It could be with a text message. There's something someone has been doing with communications, pretending to be another person, but it's not you. This could be like even social media, your DM. Someone hacks your account and communicates with other people pretending to be you, but it's not you. Okay? People were playing games. When all of this foolery was going on, they saw it as a game, but it's not a game anymore. It's not a game anymore. Someone is afraid. I'm telling you, they don't know what to do. Afraid. They don't know what to do. Someone does not know if they should come towards you or just stay where they are, even though they are unhappy where they are. Someone's foolish actions, their impulsive actions has led to a lot of loss for them. There could be a masculine that's walking away from a feminine energy. And he does not know if he comes towards you, if you're going to accept him. But he does want to meet with you. The truth is exposed. Someone thought they were going to be doing this for a long time. And even now, while all of this is going on, you best believe there's someone still fooling around with either your content, your life, trying to just cause some type of mayhem. Someone is doing like little stupid stuff behind the scenes. You may notice things here and there. Maybe like your subscriber counts or your videos, something weird is off. Maybe even in your daily life, your accounts and things of that nature, there's something weird that's going on. And this is because there's a feminine energy in here that is absolutely determined to destroy you so she can be you. It's like, it's like, let's say for me, for example, someone comes and takes me out and then they can say, oh, I'm Cynthia now. And people are just like, um, uh, what? Uh, huh? How? Is that how it works now? Is that how it works? Someone is upset that you are going to have a brand new passionate beginning in love with a masculine that is absolute, I'm telling you, brand new with a masculine that is absolutely successful in life, business savvy, someone is upset that a masculine wants to give to you, that he still wants to talk to you, still wants to be associated with you after they did everything behind the scenes to destroy some type of connection or possibility of a connection, either to work together, collab together, or some type of love connection. Someone is upset about um, love connection. Someone is upset about that. Absolutely upset. Lord, <laughs> what is this? The lovers. Okay, the lovers. Someone is upset. There's a woman in here that's upset that this masculine is still giving to you. There's a family that's upset that this masculine still wants to give to you, wants to be committed to you. They thought they had done everything to discourage this person from coming to you. Someone said, oh, well, he's with me. So how is he going to date you? He doesn't have to come to whoever you are, but he's still going to be leaving you, Jizzy Bell. And I keep hearing which. Someone in here is into magic. And they may have said that you were the one into black magic. Meanwhile, they were working this person to the bones, like throwing magic at them so that he could stay with them. This is that one of those relationships you're in, you're unfulfilled, but... You're like, why the heck can I, not, can I not leave this person? I don't love her. I don't love him. Why am I still here? And day on, day in, day out, you don't understand why you are stuck with this person, but you just know you want to leave. And then one day, something is illuminated to you that this person is doing magic to trap you with them. And you're like, oh... I've got to stop eating from this person. They're more than likely putting something in my food, in my drinks. No. Someone here, the fact that I'm saying that, has been doing something to someone's food or their drinks. Someone has been putting something in your drink to keep you attached to them. They know you don't love them. They know they don't love you either, but there are financial benefits of you two being together, so they've been doing whatever they can to keep you. You could be the breadwinner. And they've been financially benefiting off of you. And they are losing their security because you are their security. 
And I keep getting this. It's a feminine energy that's losing her security. This woman is unhinged. Crazy. Someone is unhinged, has been collaborating behind the scenes with other people to interfere with someone else's life just so they can prevent an opportunity of love from coming together, an opportunity of abundance from coming together. Someone does not want to see you in your privileged energy. They want you to stay in this energy of light. When this woman sees you in this energy, my darling, whoever you are, man or woman, Lord, she is going to pluck her eyes out because someone, their sole message is, I have more money than her. I have more money than him. So in that sense, they think they're better than you. But the moment you come into finance, this person has absolutely nothing they can say about you. And this is why they want to keep you in this energy. Someone is extremely toxic. They're like, what? You mean she gets to have money and true love? Uh-uh. I cannot let that happen. I have got to destroy her. I have got to destroy him. This is what's going on. Someone's mind is very imbalanced. Someone's mind is shaky, shaky in a way that even words cannot explain. I am seeing a lot of source out here. We have the full of source, the nine of source, the knight of source, page of source, king of source, three of source, ace of source, it's a lot of swords. This woman is in her mind a lot. Not in a good way. This woman is crazy. And she's been controlling this masculine. Controlling this masculine. And he didn't know. He thought he was in a genuine relationship at first. This is possibly how she got him anyways. Putting stuff in his drink. All of a sudden, he's in love with her. They get married. Now the truth is being illuminated to him and he wants out. She knows this masculine does not want to be with him. There's a there's someone that is sick, but they're worried about you, divine feminine. This is what I'm getting. There is a masculine that may be sick, right? But he's worried about you. So this person is in their sick bed and more worried about you. And this woman may be aware of it and she's devastated. Is that you should be focused on me. It's all about me. Why aren't you thinking about me? Girl, if someone is sick and you're worried about them thinking about you, get a grip. And this masculine may be aware of what this woman has been doing behind the scenes. Yeah, he knows that she's been causing illusions. She's been causing illusions. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're about to have it all. This is what this masculine wants. And this is what he's in, and he's getting the heck up out of it. Someone was making efforts. Initially, These some of you, these two people who have been working together, for some of you, there's a very few, but this masculine does not want to participate in what this is anymore because he, saw, he sees the truth about this woman. There's ulterior motives. Someone has been lying to a masculine and he did not know that she was lying. And now that he knows that she's a liar, he don't want nothing to do with her. Someone took some type of drastic action that led to a loss for them. Absolute loss for them. Honey, your life is just <laughs> getting better and better. Absolutely. You're about to have a lot of passion in your life, a lot of success, fulfillment, and this person does not want you having it. Some of you have an ex that does not want you having fulfillment in life, okay? It's like the moment you're supposed to get in your uh, a higher level relationship, this is when an ex is going to come in and say, hey, remember me? Uh-uh, that's when you get your red and spray, I beg, no roaches allowed. Okay. I'm telling you, put an end to the past and move forward. You're going through some type of rebirth. This masculine is done with the past. He wants to have a genuine connection with someone else. 
He's not holding on. Someone in here too? Oh, Lord. They may not be recovering. Someone may not be recovering. I don't know if it is it's a, a, a woman or whoever. Someone is not recovering. Whether this is from illness, defeat, whatever it is. Someone is not recovering. Someone has been doing a lot of projection onto another person. And it has all come back to bite them in the behind. Remember I said something about someone forging messages and things like that. And then the word projection is coming out. Someone has been doing quite a lot behind the scenes and it is all being brought to an end. They will not be recovering from all of this sneak attacks they've been doing. It says someone did something that they could not stick on you. They didn't have any way of pretending or lying, convincing people that you did it. Someone made a heavy mistake and it has led to their demise in many different ways. People don't trust this person anymore. People do not want to be associated with this person anymore. This chapter is absolutely over for you, Collective. A lot of you were not aware of what was going on behind the scenes. This masculine is absolutely putting an end to this collaboration, this union, whatever it is. As you can see, we have the death here and the world. Something is over. Something is completely over. Okay, someone thought they were going to have some type of fresh start, new life, rebirth. Uh-uh. You, collective, are having that. You are the one having that. And someone is going through demise. Someone has been doing quite a lot. Interfering with finances, love, romance, whatever we want to call it. Blocking promotions, connections, networking opportunities is different for a lot of you. Someone thought it was a joke, but it's not a joke. It is not a joke. Someone is upset that a masculine wants to give to you. Just like, you what? You're going to do what? You better not. I can't believe you'll do that. We used to be in this together. And he said, well, we're not in it together anymore. I'm out. You're on your own. So collective, you're stepping into your new life. Keeping, Yeah, he's keeping his distance. I'm telling you, he is keeping his distance from this woman, protecting his finances. Someone was exposed as a gold digger, a greedy person. And this masculine is keeping his distance away from her. He's quite disappointed because he was loyal to this person. He gave his loyalty to the wrong person. It's like he had an option in the beginning to choose between you and her, and he chose her. And now he's learning the truth that this woman had ulterior motives. He did not see the truth about this woman. There was a lot of secrets that she was hiding, and it led to a loss for him. And now he's keeping his distance. That stay the heck away from me. You are one crazy woman. Stay away from me. He may not be answering this woman's call, text messages. He may have turned the phone off, moved to another state, something moved out. He does not want to be associated with her. He's keeping his distance. And your new beginning is secured. Whether it's with this masculine or someone else, you best believe the universe has secured your new beginning. They're protecting it for you. You are standing your ground. I'm telling you, standing your ground. You are someone that's confident. You have some good news coming in about business and things like that. But someone is upset that you are still confident enough to move ahead, walk out with your head held high, regardless of everything they've been doing. Someone wants you to be embarrassed about something, either your finances, your weight, something. Honey, Ooh, this person's mind. I can't. It's so childish. But someone wants you to be embarrassed about something. Either the clothes you wear, where you live, the car you drive, something. They want you to be embarrassed about something. But I don't get the sense that any of you are. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Someone hits your confidence. I'm telling you. 
Someone hates your confidence. Someone does not like the fact that you don't want to be like everybody else. You do things your way. You move to the beat of your own drum. You don't mind being a rebel, an outcast. You, you move to your own beat. And someone thought that they could come in and steal your abundance, steal your future, swipe places with you in destiny. They want to have your destiny and you have their destiny. Theirs is bleak. Yours is abundant. You're supposed to be financially secure, be in a relationship that's reciprocity, abundant in finances, a dreamer, you're a creator, you manifest. Honey, do you see we have the King of Cups followed by the death? You bring change. Even when people are not ready, they don't want to, you bring change. And it is necessary change that helps them put an end to toxic city. You inspire people to be the best version of themselves. And this person is triggered by that. Is it, oh, all you do is just cause chaos? So if because you're pretty, then we should what? You don't, you're not helping us grow. You're not helping us heal. You're not helping us elevate nothing. This is what these masculines are feeling about these types of women now. They say, all you are is just toxic. I'm sick of going back and forth with you. I'm done with this nonsense. I'm out. And he's out. Someone does not like that this masculine is advocating for you. She was very determined that she had defeated you. Made you look some type of way to him so that he would not feel... Uh, 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 attracted to you, wanting to work with you, wanting to give to you nothing. Whether this person does give to you or not, it does not matter. The universe has options for you. Okay? But this is a bitter Betty, negative Nancy, sitting about, unable to focus on her own life, likes clarity in life, insecure but wants to cause confusion in other people's lives because she's confused about herself for some of you this could be a feminine energy that has some type of odd attraction to you that she does not even understand she does not even know how to verbalize that or come to uh, uh come to accept that or understand it she does not know how to i don't even know what the word is to use this is how crazy this woman's mind is. She does not know how to apply logic to it, how to make sense of her emotions towards you. But someone out there, there's a woman that has some type of odd attraction to you. You could be very beautiful and she finds you to be attractive. She hates that you're attractive, but she has an attraction to you and she does not understand that. So it's like someone likes you, but they don't know they like you. Like they like you romantically. So because they don't understand your feelings, they start taking actions against you. So a lot of the times, that's what jealousy is. Someone likes you. They hate the fact that they like you. They don't know why they like you. You spark something in them. So they go out of their way to destroy you, because even though you've done nothing to them. This woman's mind is extremely confusing. She's confused as heck. Uh-uh. I got to get out of your mind. You're not about to confuse me. I'm okay. I know what I want in life. I'm not confused about it. I'm telling you. <laughs> we know what we want in life collective. You're not about to confuse us. Yeah. Someone is getting the heck away. I'm telling you, we have the higher fin out here. They could be married. Or have just been together for a long time. And this person is getting away from them. He is getting away from this woman, this institution, this relationship, collaboration, whatever it is we want to call it. Yeah, and he's moving on. Moving on. It said, oh, you've been doing work on me this whole time? Have you, you've been putting stuff in my food? Man, you're out of pocket for that. I'm out.
he probably didn't start off that way. He probably started off watching her, keeping an eye on her when he came into some type of realization of what she was doing behind the scenes. He said, I'm going to study this heifer. I heard the word B, the B word, but I'm not going to say it there on my platform. Um, he said, let me study her. I'm, I'm about to pay attention to what she mo does and how she moves. And he started watching this woman behind the scenes and was watching and watching. He said, God dang it, they were right. She is into dark magic. This heifer has been doing stuff to me. And he said, I got to get away from you. He started keeping his distance, focusing on what matters to him. He said, I'm sneaking away from her. I'm not even going to tell her when I'm leaving. I am just over it. I'm done. Mm -mm. He said, I'm taking my commitment somewhere else. Whether it's with that woman that you don't like or someone else, I'm leaving. I'm telling you, he's coming to a queen of cups. He's coming to a queen of cups, going to a queen of cups, coming to a queen of cups. This woman sees it as a betrayal that he's walking away. I keep hearing her saying, I thought we were in this together. Lord have mercy, honey. Someone grew, healed in life, healed in life, and you want to take them back into a toxic way of living. Can we make it make sense? I don't think we can. This level of jealousy is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. This woman is trapped in her mind. Oh my gosh. This woman is trapped in her mind is Oh, my Lord, how can you live like this? How do people live like this? This woman has like 10,000 conversations in her head. An hour. She's always planning something. Nothing is genuine with her. Everything is orchestrated. It's all planned out. So her mind, she's always planning something, planning something, planning something. It is ridiculous. She thought she had it all figured out. She was going to take another woman down. And this masculine was going to stick with her. It, it doesn't matter where, what, out of that does not matter. If someone wants to leave, let them leave. That's why you have to have enough love in your heart for yourself so that you don't try to cling on to people when they're trying to leave to find fulfillment in life or just find peace. You're causing disturbance for someone. You're disturbing their peace. If someone is with you and they don't have peace, that means that they have the right to leave just to find peace. You're not their peace. You cause a lot of mayhem. This woman is trapped in her mind. She thought she was going to trap you. But she's going through an ending. And like I said, this relationship is over. It's over. This emperor could have wanted to come in, give you some type of love offer, but he's trapped because he participated in something. For some of you, there's for someone out there. There is an emperor that wanted to come towards you, but he trapped himself in some type of unhealthy relationship with someone that is crazy as heck crazy but for you that i was talking to about the couple this relationship is over that person is leaving my goodness yeah he's leaving there's nothing she can do about it there's no magic she can do anymore. He's probably not drinking anything from her or eating from her anymore. There's no spell work that she can do anymore that's going to make him change his mind. He's just done. He is done. Let's learn the lesson here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't force anything that's not meant to be. Don't force it. I'm telling you, this masculine is done. 
He knows the truth. He knows who the truth feminine energy is that he's meant to be with. Laura, whose story is this? Because this is a hot mess. This is like you acting from behind the scenes and you think no one is ever going to find out what you are doing only for you to find out that someone knows and the truth is exposed and the masculine decides he is uh, leaving. This could be a king of swords that's leaving, being trapped in this unorthodox relationship with this woman, this toxic union, and he said, I'm out. Count me out, folks. I am out. That's it. Dang. Someone wants to bring peace in your life. They will restore you to balance for someone out there. Dang. For someone out there, there's a masculine that just, he's done. He is done with you. And he doesn't care how he has to get away from you. He's going to get away from you. You think you all are, you two are secure because either you got pregnant for this masculine, uh, either you got married to this masculine, something. There's something you think you have with him that's going to keep him stuck with you. He's not. He's leaving is what I'm hearing. He's leaving. This person is taking actions to put an end to this toxic union. Let's do our angel number for the day, my lovely collectives. Ooh, that was a whole lot. That was a lot. That, that man said, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. I've tried with you. I've tried and I've tried and I cannot. You lied to me. You deceived me is what one of them is saying. You deceived me. I thought I could trust you. I trusted you. Spirit, what is our angel number of the day? What do we need to be aware of? That felt out right on time. As soon as I asked. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, we have two. Okay, so we have one. It says, uh, the number one, you are, self, you are a self-starter with very innovative ways of creating opportunity. Your determination and endurance are powerful and will help you get through rough times and reach success. I am innovative. Let's claim that collective. 29, um, you are highly intuitive and creative. Creative. Your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky. A powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. I am insightful. With that said, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed and I will see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.